everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going, well, not just me, my husband and I are going to be building a barn door for this door right here. So um, I'll turn the camera around and show you guys. How did you get so cute? That's just what I wanna know. Why are you so needy? <laughs> Why are you so needy? You gotta go potty? You gotta go outside? Come on, let's go. Okay, so this is the door we're gonna put the um, barn door on. I'm so, so darn excited about it. I kind of wanted to do a split door um, to where like there would be a barn door on each side, but the hardware kit that I ordered is for a one slide door. And this door is very small. I'm sure you can tell. It's not a very big door, it's very narrow. So I think it'll be fine having the barn door come to about there. It will also hide um, this space right here because whoever did the drywall in here didn't do the best job. So it'll kind of hide that a little bit too when it's open and this door is never shut. The only reason why it's shut right now is because the kids are in there playing <laughs> and they are very loud. But anyway, so that will hide that and then I'll still have space to do the little bit of, um, I don't know, whatever I wanted to do over there. So that's the plan. Um, nosies we got the plywood and the wood right here for the barn door I also grabbed the dark walnut stain I have not tried this one yet I'm curious to see if I like it I kind of wanted a mixture between what I have in my house and um, you know like an in-between color so I chose dark walnut I'm gonna open it up and test it out and make sure I like it Okay, so we, we know the bottom of our door, mm -hmm. but from the top of the door, and you know, it says, which don't make any sense, see this is the same look as this, right? I'm gonna pull on okay, so they're saying from the top of the door up an inch and 11 sixteenths. Why are so you holding that sideways? So if the top of what? That. Well, I'm using this as like the rail. Okay. So it's saying just to go a little bit above it. Exactly, and put, that would be the holes on the rail. No, that's not what we're doing. Huh? We're, we're ignoring where the door frame is. We're going above that. That's why I bought that yeah, wood. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're gonna wing so it. So I think we're just gonna have to wing it. Combination of, combination of cute sexy, <laughs> of sexy and cute. Sexy and cute. <laughs> Y'all trying to do a project with two kids and a husband is so much harder than it seems. <laughs> um, but I'm excited. Let me show you real quick. So I found the perfect wood tone color. I absolutely love it. It's a good medium between the colors that I already have in the house. I think it blends really really nice it matches with my um, table the chandelier as well as with the kitchen in here so it all kind of just flows all the different wood tones I love that I feel like it's a really cozy feeling so I cannot wait to get this barn door up there um,
So originally I didn't understand why he needed the nail gun, but he's using it just to hold this board in place because whenever he puts on the hardware for the sliding barn door, that will actually go through the wood and into the concrete. All right, so we finally tackled the hardest part, and that was just holding that bracket up, making sure it was perfectly level, because it's very important when you're like hanging up a barn door. If it's not level, the door will not stay in place, and it will just slide right back down. <laughs> By the way, the hardware kit that we are using is from Amazon. We absolutely love it. It's very heavy duty, and it was really inexpensive too for a barn door kit compared to the prices that I've seen at like Home Depot and Lowe's. So I will link it below if you're interested. It's for a six foot barn door and um, this is also the kit that we're using is for the one panel side um, but he, right here he's just drilling out the holes for this bracket to go up and then we're going to hang that up and go outside and start working on the actual door all right so our door is going to be 82 and a half by 34 inches and this is what worked best for the height that we hung our bracket so if you are going to be doing the barn door definitely pay attention to how high you hang it that's how big your door needs to be so just be mindful of that but I am I'm not my husband is <laughs> my husband is cutting the wood and I'm supervising so he was cutting this piece of plywood that we got from Lowe's it was a pre-sanded but um, after he cut it, we sanded it a little bit more just to make sure it was a nice smooth finish and we chose this route so the door would be a little bit lighter and also easier to build and cheaper because wood prices are sky high right now.
All right, so to frame off the door, we are using one by sixes and one by fours. And here is a quick picture of my inspiration. I absolutely love the way this door looked. I fell in love with it and I asked y'all over on Instagram and over on YouTube which door you would choose. I had option A or option B. And most of you chose option A, and I was actually kind of surprised because I know a lot of you are really into that, you know, classic farmhouse look, but I really wanted to have something that was a little bit more timeless, so we chose this one. And right here, we're just taking the 1x4 and framing out the edge, and then we're going to be taking the 1x6 for the bottom, and then two more 1x4s for the center to kind of just give it some design. All right, so right here, I'm just going around spacing the wood out and kind of getting an idea of where I want it to go and then going over it with my measuring tape to make sure everything is nice and level. Y'all, I also wanted to tell you, I finally got a nail gun. I have wanted a nail gun for so long, but they are so, so pricey, especially the one that I wanted. I didn't want one that had to use a compressor and had to have an extra hose and then all those extra attachments. So we finally splurged and got us this Craftsman battery operated nail gun. This thing is a beast. I absolutely love it. It shoots different size nails and it is, oh my gosh, it makes projects so, so much easier. And that's what we are putting this project together with was the nails. Um, we chose not to use the wood glue. It seems like every time I use wood glue, I end up messing up the project pretty bad. So we chose to not use the wood glue and just nail the heck out of it. <laughs> so that's what we decided to do. And now I'm going in with the wood stain. This is the dark walnut stain. And I'm not going to lie, guys. At this point right here, I was starting to panic because the way that it took to the plywood was totally different than the way it took to the 1x4s. I was starting to think, like, I just ruined it because... You know, like once you get stain on and it's dark, there's really not much you can do other than sand it down and start over. And y'all know I'm not a fan of sanding. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go with it and hope that it looks okay hanging up in our house. It was a lot darker than I anticipated, but I went with it and I'm so happy I did because even though it doesn't look the best right here, when it's hanging up and the lighting in my house, it looks totally different. All right, y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. I will be sure to link anything I can below and list all the measurements and stuff. So in case you're curious, you can find it there. But please don't forget to subscribe if you're new and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will see y'all in my next video. Hey, I don't know Bye, y'all. And oh, I can't wait to hold you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down And I don't know what I would do without you Yeah, you pull